The one great thing about marriage is you always have great outdoor furniture. Another great thing about being a couple is you always have a girl. I think some of my happiest memories when I was married was when I was working in my garden. It just felt like I was planting this piece of eternity, you know. I remember thinking that I wanted to live long enough to see my roses of Sharon bloom and grow so tall, almost like children. It was time to move after my divorce. It was those roses of Sharon that I thought about. Every once in a while, I still drive by. I look at how tall the roses of Sharon have grown. I keep telling myself every year I'm going to stop doing that. Maybe this year I won't do it. beautiful that is. Believe, inspire, joy, love, hope. I love to buy that and put that on my coffee table just to remind me to feel all those things. I got a good feeling about this. I don't know why, but... Hi everybody, I'm so happy to see you today. How are you doing today? I hope you had a wonderful week and I'm so glad you came back to see me and Cooper. Um, today we're going to be talking about skincare and my holy grails and I'm going to be doing it in the form of a tag because my friend Cheryl, she has a channel called Free Range Diva and if you're not subscribed to her channel, I will uh, leave a link below. Cheryl has a fantastic channel. And two words come to mind, intelligence and class. She does her research, so every product that she talks to you about, she knows uh, the product inside and out. So her channel is pure joy. So please check her out and tell her I said hi. Um, but the tag is so interesting. It's only 12 questions, and it's all about uh, the holy grails of skincare. So, yeah, you want to do that? Okay, let's talk skincare. All right. Question number one, what type of skin type do I have? I have combination skin. Um, the outer perimeter of my moon face is dry and my T-zone is oily. So question number two is how do you store your skincare products? And because I use so many serums and so many natural oils, I keep almost all of them in the refrigerator. My rosehip seed oil, my marula oil, my argerilin, my Trixel 3000. <laughs> Um, vitamin C, they're all in the refrigerator. I just think they stay fresh that way. Um, uh, less chance of bacteria and I think they're more potent. So question number three is what is my favorite ingredient that I look for in a skincare product? And um, I know you're thinking I'm going to say rosehip seed oil, but really no, rosehip seed oil is, um, that's kind of drama. Um, I'm looking for something that's going to give me moisture. Um, so when I see that there's hyaluronic acid in a product, I, I gravitate towards that product because hyaluronic acid on our skin is going to help us hold the moisture in. So, and that makes us look more plumped up and more useful. Question number four is what is your most indulgent product? And by that, I'm assuming they mean the most expensive. Um, 
Well, um, you know, I'm not a high roller when it comes to skincare, but I honestly believe that I have the best skincare regimen in the world. <laughs> That's bold, isn't it? Um, anyway, but I have to say that probably the thing I spend the most money on is um, it's a sea salt scrub by Derma E. I'll show it to you. Derma E has this sea salt scrub and it is my favorite. I use it twice a week. I see a huge difference when I use it. I see a huge difference when I stop using it. I think it's the best exfoliation uh, that I do for my skin and it runs me between $25 and $27. Is what so. is the best bargain of your skincare routine and without a doubt it is Astro Wood Naturals. It is my Matrixel 3000, uh, my Argera line, and my Vitamin C Serum. And I get this for under $12. And it is so, it's freshly made when you order it. And it's, it's fantastic. Under $12 for three of the most important, effective ingredients that you can put on your face. Question number six, do I use any tools? and um, tools. <laughs> I love that word. I use a hammer and I use some nails. Um, tools, cleaning tools like the Clarisonic, that type of thing. Um, I use two tools on my face. <laughs> Try to say that without laughing. Try it. Okay, I use, I use, two, I use two tools. I use two tools on my face. Just ask Mumsy. <laughs> so do I use any tools? Yes, I do. Uh, I use the Sonic Cleanser and I will uh, link this tool below. Uh, I've done a couple videos about it. Uh, it is on the same premise as the Sonic Toothbrush, but uh, I use it uh, three minutes uh, on my face at night uh, with my favorite cleanser and it gets my skin so clean and I think the vibration uh, also helps with tone so uh, I like this tool very much. Do any of you remember Steve Martin when he used to talk about the cruel shoes? Um, well for this next tool the Neutrogena Microderm Abrasion System that I think of this as the cruel tool um, this you can pick up uh, almost anywhere. It's uh, Neutrogena Microdermabrasion System. It's under, I would say it's right around $22 and you buy for $12 backup pads. The ingredients in the pad is so strong that it is very, very harsh on my face. So I have to be very, very careful and I also have to be so careful if I get the product in my eye. It stings so badly and it will turn my eye red for eight hours. So I have been really looking for an alternative to the Neutrogena uh, Microdermabrasion uh, System because I, I just feel it's so harsh but I tell you I can you know I can look at my videos and I can tell how far out it's been since I've used my Microdermabrasion System because it helps firm your jaw and it helps from your face in general. Uh, what is your favorite mask? Uh, my favorite mask is uh, anything with honey, uh, rosehip seed oil, uh, aloe vera. I love very hydrating, soothing masks. One of my favorite masks is uh, one that I pick up at Marshall's. Um, and Lancome ha has a good one too um, with Manuka honey and, uh, and rosehip seed oil. Rosehip, you know, for, you know, kind of a renewal and the Manuka honey for uh, hydration. So it's really nice. There are some masks, bee venom masks. Um, they're very trendy right now and um, I do use those before a special occasion because it makes me look so bright. So I like that a lot. The next question is what is your uh, favorite multitasking uh, product that you use? And for me it would be argan oil hands down. Uh, I use argan oil as a hair treatment at night and in the daytime. I use argan oil to hydrate my face. I use argan oil uh, on my neck uh, for firmness. Uh, I use argan oil to add uh, to my foundation every single morning and argan oil added to your foundation just makes it glide on like silk and it sets up so pretty so um, I think if argan oil tried you know I think it probably could you know solve world peace <laughs>
just one brand uh, for your beauty products, what brand would that be? Well, it would be a brand uh, that was all natural, didn't test on animals, no parabens, had a fantastic research department. If I had to just use one company, it would be Derma E. I think, to me, Derma E rocks. I mean, they absolutely are the cutting edge of the technology that helps us look our best and stay healthy. Derma E has something for everybody. They have such an amazing research team and if you call them they are more than happy to talk to you about some of the issues that you might be having with your skin. They have a um, they have a new uh, marula oil argon oil combination skin treatment oil treatment um, you know and I don't want to get too deep into it because I don't want this video to turn into a review but this is one of my very favorite new products uh, it's an oil treatment and uh, it's fantastic so uh, I can't say enough good things about Derma Ease. The next question is what is my favorite new product? Um, my favorite new product is Rose Water Spray. I use it as a face toner. I use it to set my makeup and uh, I just love it. it. It's refreshing in the day. I have uh, one in the refrigerator and I have one in my purse. What is my favorite step in my skincare routine? That is so easy. After a long hard day, I put the coconut oil on my face and I let it sit for five to ten minutes. Sometimes I put it on and then I go out Cooper and then I come back and it just melts off all the makeup and all the troubles and the stresses of the day. And then I have a clean canvas and then I can, you know, um, just wash my face with my Sonic tool. And the last question is, what is on my skincare wish list? And I think of everything. I wish so badly that there was a company that I could go to them for all my skincare needs and my makeup needs, and they all would be revolving around fresh oils from the earth. Just to have a foundation and blush and eyeshadow and 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 all my makeup. You know, no parabens, no fragrance, no testing on animals. Just all healthy, fantastic things from the earth. And, and that I could just go to one company and get my skincare line and my makeup line. And they all are working in unison together. You know, they all have the same goal. Last weekend I went on another date with Steve. He took me to this really beautiful, romantic Italian restaurant. We had a lovely time. He told me that he thinks one of the most important things in life is for all of us to be flexible, to keep an open mind and an open heart and always give someone the benefit of the doubt. I like that. You know, I don't know if I ever would have even made the fourth date with Steve if it hadn't been for me watching SusanWinter.net. <laughs> Susan Winter is on YouTube. She has a wonderful channel. I can't believe her channel is free. It, it's like having your own personal life coach. She's a professional um, uh, life mentor and relationship expert and she's so beautiful and intelligent and the things she says just they really strike home you know if you are interested in the subject of relationships or dating or marriage um, I'll, I'll list her channel below when I watch one of her videos, it takes me, I mean, I'll think about it like for days. She's, um, she's compelling and, and she's kind and she's worldly. Yeah. I mean, she has this video where she starts out talking about, you know, there's a lid for every pot and even though that maybe you don't feel 100%, maybe you feel like you're not bringing your A game. 
that it's okay. Maybe, you know, you don't think you look your best. You're not driving the car you want. You don't have the job you want. You feel frazzled. You feel injured from your divorce or from the death of your loved one. That go out, have fun. That you don't have to be perfect to accept a date and walk out that door. And I mean, I really related to that because I don't know how many times I felt in the last few years, I'm not 100%, so I'm not going to go out on a date. Nobody's going to love me. Nobody's going to even like me because I have so much healing to do. I go out in public, I see a couple buying a grill together, and I start crying because it reminds me of when I was married. To accept a beautiful evening out at an Italian restaurant, do I have to be 100% perfect? I really don't think Steve was looking for perfect. I think he was just looking to spend a nice Sunday night at a nice Italian restaurant and have a little conversation. I was walking in the store yesterday and I was bustling around and you know I was kind of I had it in my head you know my new camera and you know um, how I was looking and just very very shallow very self-centered, shallow thoughts were in my head. And I saw a woman, she was walking towards me, uh, and she was about 10 years younger than me, and she had her son, that he looked like he was in his 30s, and he was completely blind. And you could tell he was anxious being in the store. And she smiled at me, and I said to her, she, she told me a little joke, and and uh, her blind son was a little ways away and I said to her, is that your son? And she said, yes, that is my pride and joy. And I started to cry. And I didn't want her to see me cry. But it, it shocked me into realizing, oh my goodness, what have I been thinking about? And it made me wonder, am I on the right path? It does seem that if I live out my life and I just serve myself and, and everything is about me and things that sometimes don't matter, I'm, I, don't, I don't want that. So, I don't know. I had a lovely conversation with her and you know, she had every reason to be um, unfriendly and not happy and bitter and she couldn't have been more lovely and more proud of her son.